Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I'm going to show you how to use Nikon Image Space with NX Studio by Nikon. Uh, Nikon Image Space is a uh, cloud service that uh, Nikon provides to Nikon users for free uh, where you can upload and share images that you create on your Nikon camera. And uh, they added a function in NX Studio to kind of link the two things together uh, so you can do some um, functions easier. But there are a few caveats to all this. Uh, for example, right here we have albums in NX Studios. These are local albums. And currently, it actually does not sync here like local and cloud albums like automatically. So if we go to uh, actual uh, uh, NX Studio, or not NX Studio, Nikon Image Space, you'll see this is what Image Space looks like basically. And down here we have albums here, but these are online cloud albums. By default, there's this thing called posted photos that you can post to, which is a shared area. You can't delete this area. It's always there. It's just for shared. You can also create uh, additional albums here uh, that you can upload to. So if we go back to NX Studio, the first thing we need to do is we need to go up to edit and we get, need to go to options. When we go to options, we're going to come down to right here to where it says web service. Uh, now. I guess they have this tab. I guess they plan to add possibly other services in the future. Right now, the only two that you have available are Nikon Image Space and YouTube. So you can actually connect your YouTube account to this and upload um, videos from Nikon NX Studio if you want to. So what you're going to do is right here in email, you're going to put your email address. You're going to put your password. And this is the email and the password that you use for Nikon Image Space. Uh, you can save the password here and then you can click log on to connect. So once you're, uh, once you're connected to that, you can click OK. And now we can upload to, um, uh, to Nikon Image Space. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just Pick a photo here and we say we want to upload it. We're going to go over here to upload. Now the nice function about this is it will automatically resize the image for you. So if you're using a raw image here and you want to share it as a JPEG, it automatically does the export or the conversion. You have a couple of different choices here. You can We're going to go with uh, 1080p, but you can see uh, you have a couple of different um, choices of uh, what um, image resolution or size of JPEG you use. Uh, you can actually use original size, which will be really big. Uh, I'd recommend 1080p. That's pretty much standard for screen size. In most uses, that's going to be uh, pretty good. But there's a couple of other choices you have down here. So let's just choose 1080. Now, if we click here on album, right now, all we have available is posted photos, which is just to post photos um, on uh, Nikon Image Space without creating an, an album or specifying a specific album, or we can go new album. And so, if we go new album, let's just uh, call this. Uh, we're going to just call this postcards. You make up whatever name you want. Pick a name that's useful for you. But for demonstration purposes, I'm just picking a random name. So, if I hit here and, and go start, you'll see down here in the bottom uh, left corner it says how many images it's uploading and it has a little progress line there so it's finished loading it now if we go back to uh, Nikon image space you'll see there's no folder or album there uh, this is because this is a web page and it needs to be refreshed so I'm gonna hit the reload or the refresh button here And so now we have a uh, new um, album right down here called Postcards. And you can see it has the one image that we uploaded to it. Now we're going to go back to NX Studio. There are a couple things that are kind of quirky about this. 
So let's say we pick this other image and we're going to upload it now. If we go here to albums, all this here is posted albums right now. So there may be a delay in, in syncing this right here. So I'm going to close out right here. So when you create a new album, just be kind of aware, refresh the web page, see if it created it. Um, and then if you're uploading more and you don't see the album there, if it's on the web page, it's actually uh, available to NX Studio. It just may not update. So one thing you can do is uh, if you close out of the program and come back in again, it should re-log into the service. Uh, so the next time you come into the program, it should be okay. The other thing that you could do is you could go back here to the web service and log out and then log in again and click OK. Now if we go back to upload, you'll see postcards appear here. So that's a little quirky thing that I've found about NX Studio right now and hopefully they'll fix that. Hopefully they'll also kind of add to Nikon uh, image space and, and get some real syncing where you can actually have create a folder locally and sync it up to the web at the same time and have it automatically sync. Uh, but that's one little quirky thing to r remember. The other quirky thing is the same thing is true as if we go here and go back to image space. Say we, we create a folder here. And uh, let's just call this uh, portfolio. Once again, you just name it whatever you want. Uh, this is just for demonstration purposes. So there's nothing in portfolio currently. And say I want to upload it. We can actually go to the upload right here in uh, Nikon image space and upload it directly to the web page into this folder. But if we want to do it through NX Studio, we would go down here. But once again, if I go to upload uh, and say I want to upload this to my portfolio, you'll see it hasn't updated. Now, if we go out of the program and back in, or the next time we go into the program, it should sync it. Uh, but if you have problems with it syncing, once again, if we just go here to options, we log out, and then we log back in. It takes a second for it to log back in. Uh, so then we go, okay. And if we once again go to upload, you can now see our portfolios there. So we can now start the upload to that. So that's something to be aware of those, those folders. It's, it's very confusing because the folders won't sync right away until it re-logs in. So th there's not really currently any um, update or sync thing that I found on NX Studio, except logging in and out of NX Studio or perhaps uh, just you can restart it if you want and it should re-log into it when it starts again. And just remember that these albums down here are the local albums and the only place you see where the uh, the uh, cloud albums are are up here in currently in the, this upload box right here. So hopefully they'll add to that in the future. But that's basically the way you, you connect to uh, Nikon Image Cloud and upload and download uh, photographs and uh, and uh, create albums. And one more thing thing to be aware of is if we have our portfolio, if we create this, we can actually right click on here It has to be it has to be you have to actually have a photo in the uh, the album to share it. But so I'm going to go to postcards where we already have an image uploaded. If we go here to share, we can click share and it will give us a, uh, a link here that we can copy and email to uh, friends or family or business associates, whoever we want to share those images to in an album. And if we, uh, if we, if we copy this and close this out, and open a new window, you'll see that it brings up uh, a page 
and uh, we would have all of our images on here so if we had multiple images you would see them all on this page all right so that's how you use uh, Nikon image space with NX studio this has been photo blue and I'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe share and like